China's foreign minister, Qin Gang, has hit out at the West, describing accusations that China is challenging the international order or disrupting peace across the Taiwan Strait as, quote, absurd rhetoric. CNA's Olivia Xiong with this report. In a wide-ranging half-hour speech at the opening of the Lanting Forum in Shanghai on Friday, Chinese Foreign Minister Qin Gang sought to allay concerns about China's development, but also made clear how the country felt about criticism from the West. A G7 foreign ministers meeting in Japan earlier this week, voicing unity in their concerns over China, calling on Beijing to abstain from threats, coercion or use of force. We经常听到一些奇谈怪论 Mr. Qin said China needed no reminders by certain countries or groups of countries about how to act, adding that fair-minded people could see who was disrupting the international order and engaged in hegemonic bullying and high-handed practices. These strong comments come amid soaring tensions over self-ruled Taiwan. Beijing recently conducted military drills around the island in response to a meeting between Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen and U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. G7 diplomats reaffirming the importance of peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait, after French President Emmanuel Macron said Europe should not get dragged into confrontation between China and the U.S. over Taiwan. But Mr. Qin reiterated Beijing's position that Taiwan has been an inalienable part of China's territory since ancient times and that both sides of the strait belong to it. He asserted that it's not the mainland but Taiwan independence forces and a handful of countries that are attempting to change the status quo. Mr. Tin also said it is right and proper for China to uphold its sovereignty and territorial integrity. Taiwan 我们绝不退让，在台湾问题上玩而活着，必自焚。Touching on the Ukraine war, which has also been a sticking point with the West, Mr. Tin said China does not inflame or take advantage of the situation, reiterating that the country has taken an impartial stance and pushed for peace talks. This comes as there have been questions about Beijing's close ties with Moscow, as the West has also called on China to do more, to use its influence to end the conflict. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.